Next up was Professor Diana Rice to speak of her work with bottlenose dolphins. Rice claims dolphins clearly engage in, explo in exploratory behaviour. For example, they blow bubble rings, just as humans blow smoke rings from cigarettes, and then play with the rings as they rise to the surface. She has even seen them drop various items, such as bits of fish or seaweed, into the centre of a bubble ring and watch how the turbulence buffets them. It looks like intelligent, goal-directed behaviour, she says. I felt that I was watching a bunch of scientists testing contingencies. Rice claims to have demonstrated mirror self-recognition on the part of dolphins, an exceedingly rare capacity in the animal kingdom. Previously only humans and great apes have shown convincing evidence of it. At Tucson, Rice recounted how if the animals misbehaved in the course of their training she would give them a time out. This involved her getting up from the side of the pool, walking back about 20 feet and looking at the dolphin but not interacting with it. One day when feeding a dolphin, Rice accidentally let a tail with fins at a disliked foot slip through. In response, the dolphin swam to the other side of the pool and rose vertically up the water to look at Rice for a minute or two. Rice felt she was being given a time out. She decided to test the dolphin and a few, day, a few days later let an uncut fish, fish tail slip through on purpose. The dolphin did the same thing, giving her another time out. Rice repeated the experiment three additional times, each with the same result. Third up was Sue Savage Rumbo. Savage Rumbo reared a pair of bonobos or pygmy chimpanzees in the company of humans who spoke English to them and pointed to symbols on a board. While the bonobos, Kanzi and Panbanisha, never received any explicit training in language, they picked it up anyway. These conditions are all that's needed for apes to acquire understanding of language at least equal to a three-year-old child, says Savage Rumbo. For example, the bonobos can respond correctly, even on first hearing, to new sentences such as, Can you find the pine needles in the refrigerator? Kenzie and Panbanisha understand more complex concepts. For example, Savage Rumbo describes how Panbanisha watched as a human secretly substituted a bug for some sweets in a box. When a second human tried to open the box, the first human asked the bonobo, What is she looking for? Panbanisha replied that the human was looking for the sweets. To answer a question as sophisticated as this, Panbanisha needs a concept of what thinking is and that other people's thinking is different from our own, says Savage Rumbo. Even more strikingly, Panbanisha added that the first person was being bad to play such a trick, the same comment that the researcher's four-year-old daughter made. I hope I've conveyed some sense that intelligence, a sense of self and moral feelings may not be the exclusive province of Homo sapiens. The parrot, the dolphin and the bonobo are all reported by distinguished researchers to have expressed disapproval when the behaviour of another party fell short of unexpected standing. <laughs>